Hello everybody and welcome to Soma. This is a game I've actually been wanting to play since it came out. I bought it when it came out, um, but I haven't really found the time to play it, but I figured, hey, I know Halloween's almost, or October's almost over, but I figured this would be a cool one to play just for a bit, um, so we'll see. Um, it's supposed, I, I believe it was made by the same people who made Amnesia, The Dark Descent which was, of course, revolutionary in its time. <clears throat> so, yeah, I just double-checked. There's Frictional Games. They made they made Amnesia and Penumbra. Um, top top of the notch, well, especially Amnesia, top line, top of the notch, top notch, and blah. Um, horror games. I never played them, but I watch people play them because I'm a coward. But this one's supposed to have um, a, a really good storyline, which is the only reason I play a scary game like this. So, figured for Halloween, for my favorite holiday, and for, for a game like this, because I've seen it, I've seen a little bit of the beginning, and it looks like you're basically, you're, you're in some sort of underwater facility, and, and it's like some tie to something else, and it's, it looks really creepy, and, it, but it looks really cool, so I wanted to check it out, we'll see how far I get, but... Uh, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and start. Let's jump right in. I also looked it up, what Soma meant. Um, I think it's supposed to be, it's a psychedelic drug, like, in, from India. But it's also, uh, psychosomatic. It's like body impulse type thing. Reality is that which when you stop believing in it doesn't go away. <laughs> I'm so freaked okay, out. Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. No, it's nothing! Here, take this. No, that that's for later, for the scan. It's green. It was red! Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? For what? <laughs> that sound is so loud. Okay, pick it up. Right trigger. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett. Yeah, that's me. I'm my boy. My name is David Munchie. I'm my boy. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah. Just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah. That's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. That's a big phone, guy. Pretty jeans, though. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh... Can I crouch? Where did no. I put the tracer fluid? Shh, I'm looking. Press the left bumper. Oh, okay. That's so freaky. All right, let's find the tracer fluid first. Where would a person pull and use the? Yeah, I'm using a control controller. If you can't tell. Uh. Come on, radioactive tracer fluid. Where are you? Oh, look at that. Okay. Uh, medicine cabinet. Do you keep it in the bathroom? Where's your bathroom? Oh, what a dirty dude you are, man. Whoa, this is like really super smooth. Thank you again for participating in our research. The scan will be for the Pace Laboratories in Toronto, but since we are guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. I'll try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you when confirmed. Uh, new prescription. I'm happy to hear that your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity. <laughs> Since excessive stress could be fatal, I've written you a prescription for Prazosin to help you with your nightmares. Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest, and I'll see you next week. Okay. Saturday. Jesse, since you probably forgot, here's me reminding you that I've forgot got- Forgot to get sent. Does it matter? I already told him about it. I went to the doctor appointment tomorrow. I, I, I am not coming into work. This means you need to make sure you're actually on time. 
to open up the store and please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They are starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if they are put on shelves where people can actually see them. Good luck from Simon. So that was from me to my pal. Oh, that was a draft. Yeah. Hmm. I could send it. Uh. Yeah. Why not? Better okay. late than never. Yeah, I guess, right? All right. Whoa. Oh, hey, what's this? Shiny object. <clears throat> oh. I can use the sticks to rotate. I don't have to use the D-pad. Uh. I cannot read it. Convention something. A rocker. How? Uh, 7 through 12. Uh, October something. 7 through 12. Convention. And a cute little drawing of a little alien thing. Little graphs, chicken feet. Interesting. Okay. More reading. Get well soon, love, mom. Aw, that's a terrifying little thing. Nothing else, mom? That's it? Get. Oh, okay. So, okay. If we want to look at it closer. Okay. So, there are definitely things that. Oh, I saw that. Pace. Dr. Aaron Peak. Gad So this is this is the one who gave us our prescription. Uh, that's the that's the tracer tracer fluid. Okay. What? Picture of my feet in the sand? Weird. Robin McConnell, meet and greet book signing. The Grimoire presents. Okay. And is that me and the girl, Anna? Oh, apparently we enjoyed going to the beach. Was there something on the back of this? No? Can I... Okay, no, okay. Tracer fluid, where's your bathroom? Hey, open the curtains. Woo! Summer's coming. Hope it's a good one. <laughs> How many suns are there on this planet? Jeez. <laughs> Shh, shh, trash can. Is this a, is this a bathroom? Bathroom. Put the toilet lid down. Alright, sorry about that. If that keeps up, I guess I just won't be able to upload this. But hopefully it goes away. Um, so I don't see any tracer fluid in the bathroom. Oh, shower. Take a shower. I don't want to keep the doctor waiting. I'll okay. shower when I get back. Okay. Um. Room more. That's our. Well, dude, where do you keep your tracer fluid at? Hmm. Why do we have pictures of our coffee or tea and bugs? We're a camera person. All right. Okay, that's why we have pictures like that because we're a camera person. Political systems, structure of world politics, historical insight, the Roman state, inside the law. Wow, we're very we're an interesting person, like legit. Got interesting books. Uh, well, do okay. Maybe if I'm a dude, I don't keep things in their proper places. Widely praised as one of the most comprehensive and yet accessible texts about the anatomy of the human brain, its function, and our perception of consciousness. Find out how your brain is dependent on its body, why the brain is simply not a computer, and a multitude of other interesting facts that make your head spin. This edition also, also includes two new chapters about the development of the brain and how it affects our behavior in different stages of our lives. Who wrote it? Albert Isaacson. All right, nobody I know or that I recognize. Right. Watching TV gives me headaches now. Thank you, brain. Aw, sad. Alright. Oh. Interesting. Massive recoil. Okay. Video games! Maybe. Pizza. The Grimoire logo. Jeans. Did I put it in a drawer, maybe, by happenstance? Is that it?
That's a USB stick. Or something. Yeah. Yeah. What is that about? Jeez. Okay. I got voice messages. Hey, Simon. It's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, Miss You Mean It. <laughs> End of messages. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. Well, I got the email off. He must have caught up by now. My plant is dead. I keep my clothes. 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 Oh my gosh, dude. Where do you keep... This seems like it will be a very important... Ooh, he's got pictures of space. And that toy looks like underwater. Nice. Uh, enter France. Alright. Yeah, well, legit, dude. I have no idea. Keys. Oh, letters. To Simon. I live in Toronto. Uh, keep it in the refrigerator? Nothing but Where? fast food. I should buy something healthier on my way home. Gross, guy, gross. Wait, no, let's, wait, let's. Crow claws that. Uh, I don't see tracer fluid in there. Silverware. Bring a bachelor pad. I don't know why you would keep it in there. Uh, you got an award for something. Seriously, guy. Where do you keep it? I'm gonna, like, look it up at this rate. Oh, another USB. Oh, it's the little drawing. It's like a, it's like a, an actual little figurine. Did I open these? There it is. Ah! Press the right trigger. Feels like milk, but the taste. It's like sucking on a penny. Yeah. So copper. Downtown accident kills a woman. Yesterday, a driver distracted by her children ran a red light, causing her to blindside a car on the intersection of Bloor Street and Spadina Road. The mother and her children, traveling in a robust SUV, were left bruised but largely unharmed. The other party was less lucky as the car crashed into the passenger side. Ashley Hall, 23, sustained devastating damages and suff suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs. Uh, before the ambulance arrived. Her friend and driver, Simon Jarrett, 26, survived, but with complicated results believed to lead him with permanent brain damage. The driver of the SUV's name has been released by police, claimed it was an accident and practically unavoidable. Okay. So, so our, our lady friend died. I got that impression. You would think it would be a little more like, you know, bummer deal. Japanimation, bigger than ever. Okay, sorry about that. I have uninstalled and reinstalled my Elgato software, so hopefully that works. We have the tracer fluid, so anything else we find after this is just interesting. Little side notes. I may have to turn the sensitivity down a little bit. It's Pretty high. Is that a fire alarm? All right. Well. It's, oh, it's the bottle. Oh, we just dropped the bottle. We are a litterer. Is that the light? Oh, that would have been nice. 
Uh, awesome. Let, let's go, I guess. Holy crap. <laughs> Hopefully this works. <laughs> Oh man, it's the men in black! Can I? Oh. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after this scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Rock word! Oh, a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying. What?! <laughs> Dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. That guy is way too chill. It's all a lie. A stinking awful lie. What's a lie, guy? Oh man, I'm so suspicious. I'm so suspicious of everything. You gotta listen to the homeless guys, they know what's up. <laughs> oh. Hello? Dr. Munchie? Munchie. I like munchies. Is there lights in here? Okay. Where is everyone? I thought this place would be busy. Wow, freaking clown? For real, is a clown? Yeah, this place does not look pretty, le very legit. You know what I mean? Looks like they're all like in the middle of a reconstruction or something. Don't mind me. Paul, where are you? I've got a few hours. I gotta hold to Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Call me ASAP. Get your stuff ready. Paul. Oh, wait, no. Oh, okay, I click it. Talk to Pace about using the lab this week. I've managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but so we can use the interception area as a kind of office. It allows us to use our computers to run models. And also, if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Derek, Dr. Aaron Peake will send somebody over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash. Should be interesting. Uh, I had some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change, so I called security talk to Professor Ween to have him vouch for our project and finally got a hold of some honcho over at Pace's legal department that could re grant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails or texts, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget. Of course. Of course. Alright. Find. Alright, because I, I, do, I do know what's up with this, because I can't, I can't get in. This is the place, right? It must be. All oh, right. Okay. Here we go. Let's just call Munchie real quick. Great. Got his phone turned off. That's, That's not okay. professional. I can figure this out. That's not very professional. Biometrics. If he has an appointment, he should, and especially in a place that's not his own office, he should have his phone on. I'm super sketched out right now. All right, notes. Do you got anything for me? Notes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Da da. Na na. Oh no, I don't want you. I want you. Page fifty-six. Moment dev tweak for right length. Uh, blurry. Twenty-five oh one. Hopefully. That what it says. I don't know what the rest of that's saying. It's been a long time. I watched the, the first part of this uh, when it first came out. The brain can heal itself. The brain is an amazing transformative quality, a plasticity that allows it to compensate and even heal itself. There's a little bit in, um, I didn't get very far in it, but Deus Ex Human Revolution, talking about the plasticity of uh, genetics. 
a graduate student in neuroscience at York University in Toronto. This quality of Bernard's colleague, David Minche, a student of computer science, are open to encourage. It's about getting the brain to do the right thing. They start out recording something called a Nakajima neurograph. It's like a picture that indicates direction. So these guys aren't like, well, I don't know, I guess they are doctors, but they're like students also. So that's a little bit sketchy. What's that? Oh, a book? What kind of book are you? Just a data note book. All right. I remember getting the feeling that well, something that was read or something when I was doing this, the, when, when I watched it the first time, um, was that these guys weren't actually doctors. They were just trying to like prove a thesis point or something. And that's a little bit, a little bit creepy. Yay, I'm a genius. Oh, run from what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Space. Space. M23 Ant Nebula. Can I get in? Light switch. <laughs> I've never really played in a game that was about physics engines. And I have amnesia, that was a big thing. I feel like I should be able to read these notes. They're like hacking into the system is what it looks like. Move. Move. Me. Oh, I can open the drawer? Ooh. Nothing in there. Hard drives. in there. More hard drives. Toronto Daily. Can't I read any of these notes? Or poke these computer screens? I always feel like searching in games like this. It's basically just plastering your face against everything. It is 10 10, a little after 10 10. I don't feel very secure about this. Like, they're just like hacking into an existing system. Yo! Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie. Uh -huh. But I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis? Yep! Work? Yeah, it's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes, yes I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. Well, first I'm gonna look at your stuff. Yeah, see, he's not even a doctor. He's just a Mr. Munchie. And I'm like, okay, it's fine. It's fine, I guess, ha ha ha. So, what exactly are we doing? We're gonna do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. It sounds like a condition. good idea. So it's not just a study, this will actually help me. Well, I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I'm dying apparently? <laughs> No, but Soma is a... <clears throat> I looked up, like, the Latin definition of Soma. Let me, let me not butcher it, and I'll look it up again really quick. Uh, it's parts of an organism other than the reproductive cells. Please, have a seat. The body as distinct from the soul, mind, or psyche. That's in biology. Uh, the Greek word Soma means body. It also comes from the Sanskrit soma, which is a drink, an intoxicating drink from a plant. <coughs> Just have a seat and we'll be it's out of here. It's also got a psychological time. definition, apparently, too. 
Oh, right. And then there's, like, somatic cells, right? As opposed to, like, um, the reproductive cells. All right. <clears throat> Let's have a seat. I have no idea. Like, I legit, I don't know what I'm getting myself into. If this is anything like amnesia, I don't know if I'll be able to finish it. <laughs> oh, not cool, not cool, not cool. This game might be kind of cool in VR, though. Oh, man. I get the sounds. All right. Let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Toronto, Canada. David Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph. He's the same age as me. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. <laughs> so, well, let's hope they're wrong. Oh my gosh, I just, <laughs> I have... Say cheese. I have so many, so many suspicions about this game. Maybe with separating the body from the soul, like, oh my gosh, like, that was, like, that was, like, right in your face. Oh my gosh. What happened? Do I still have it on? What? Oh, okay. Hello? Mr. Munchie? <laughs> I'm still wearing my nice jeans. Did something go wrong? I can't see very well. My vision's all blurry. This isn't funny. Whoa. Whoa. What the hell is this place? How did I get here? Whoa. Oh, I didn't look at the chair before. Unlock terminal from what? that symbol with the leaves and stuff. I don't remember. Everything's written in like Japanese or Korean or Chinese or something. And there's blood everywhere. Uh, okay. That's from Mass Spec. That's what it sounds like anyway. Insert Omni Tool. I don't have an Omni Tool. Toolbox. Like, cause we're we're kind of underwater, aren't we? Sort of. I have thus far maintained no, basically no spoilers of this game, except for what I watched of the very beginning. This is about as far as I've seen. I think there's a place where we have to go and talk to somebody on a machine, but that's about it. Can I have one? Give me an Omni tool. I feel like I need to have an Omni tool. Where's the toolbox? What is that? That's kind of it's odd looking. Looks like it maybe shouldn't be there. get an Omni tool? Can I get a suit? There's a freaking cup here. Keep this... Oh, uh... Should I just try to break out? Oops. Hope that's not how it works. I'm gonna t gonna take me a bit to get used to this physics. Sealed. 
apparently I don't need an Omni tool. Just good old human intuition. I wish I could put on one of those suits. Jeez. I would feel a lot safer about this rather than walking around in my jeans. Bruh, saving! The brain is saving! Break room. Thermal plant observation tower. This is definitely not where I popped, where I went in. First aid, don't die. Look. Well, that looks really safe. I can't see my face. I can't see my face. That indicates something bad to me because of the title screen. You got that picture of the girl. It looks like a girl anyway. Whoa, whoa. Goopy stuff everywhere. See, this is something I noticed when I watched the little bit that I saw is that there's something in this game that is both very mechanical and very organic at the same time, and that is very interesting and very creepy. This looks like we're in the future. Home is a state of mind. Don't mind me just knocking over everything. That was the break room. Okay. Uh, data buffer. Carl, it's working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can, rather than take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock off the comp set. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we're leaving our power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. What? Who's having a hard time? How did I do that? Is this not a, uh, like a, was that in my head or something? Carl, it's working better than expected. Okay. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. I can move around. Hold Permaseal as many as you can, rather than take any chances. Weird. So these are perma seals? They are, sort of, looks like. Machine hanger. Oh, buddy. Who's having a hard time? <gasps> Okay, there we go. I was like, it's not even making a sound. So that's where I came in. Alright. Uh, I suppose I'll take that off. Okay, let me just thank you, thank you. What? What? Why is my vision doing that? get to the machines see look at this what is this why is it glowing <laughs> touch it
What? Hey you. Can you talk? Can you talk like the others? What? Why are you like this? You want some structure gel? Yeah, you do. So weird. Doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna shut you down now, okay? Yeah, you're creepy as hell, so I'm gonna shut you down. Was something was there one here that like walked out? Is this is this new? Oh oh oh. Press and hold the right bumper. Okay. It only lets you save if you're willing to exit. Oh, buddy. Um, so something was up with the robots. They were... They were talking? Did something just... Something broke through here. This wasn't open before, right? by that. seems to lead there. Where are we going? Uh, service station, storage, and robot deck, Gawk. How do I defend myself? How do I run? I mean, I guess I know how to run, right? But How do you hide?
What? Oh my gosh, I don't know if I can do this! What am I even doing right now? I'm just trying to get out. just don't know why. I'm trying to figure out where I am. That's something I can touch over there? keep holding it down, okay? I thought I had to keep holding it down. Just gotta tap it. it. Sounded like somebody was screaming. There's video cameras, but it doesn't look like they're functional. This way? I don't think I did. That all looks pretty dead endy. Okay, I'm gonna try and open this door. <gasps> I have such high anxiety right now. I, can, I don't know if I can do this. I might, <laughs> I might have to like stream this or something. I don't know. Oh, don't want to do that. Why am I jumping? I just want to. Oh, that's right. maintenance tunnel. Omni tool. Oh! I got one! Uh. I am pressing that button. Uh oh. Oh, it shows me on the screen like that. Oh, okay. Well, what does the Omni tool do? Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> it's an advanced interface for assessing, managing, controlling computerized systems. The onboard intelligence includes an open set of behaviors and protocols that enable the user to automate team actions through basic logical charts. Automatically, that is programs to cover subconscious behavior. Huh. I can open doors. From a distance, um, to upgrade my device, simply slide auxiliary, uh, slide, slide operator to the main or auxiliary slots. Note that introducing an additional AI will override the onboard intelligence. I don't get it! I don't get it! Shh! Omni tool. 
Please don't hurt me anything. I'm harmless. I'm standing in the goop. Oh my gosh, is that blood? <gasps> it's a person! <gasps> I didn't realize it was all mixed in with the machinery. That's the person who was screaming! Their head is gone! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! How do I get out of here? Oh, I have to use my newfound Omni tool, maybe. <laughs> this is so. This is so stressful. Go this way. I mean, zero harm. I just want to go home. <gasps> There it is! Did you see it? It's in the vents! It's in the vents! Whatever it is, what is this? Alien isolation? Oh my god! It just popped one of those vents open! under that Gonna die now. Well, now what? Was there? Is there a? Did I gotta search that guy's body or something? For a for a card? game is so freaking dark it made it made it be dark on purpose but like when I was setting the gamma earlier I can't see anything I mean I can but not well this slow walking is gonna kill me too it's terrifying there's something... Do I have to go back? To the beginning? Shh! Shh! Quiet! I didn't see anything else. What's that? It's like a VHS. Oh, no. Yeah, um, guy, oh, gall, oh, man, that's gross. Oh, it looks like I need a tool, or I need a chip, maybe back at the beginning? I didn't see a chip back at the beginning, but... What's this? Just a, a dead end. So the robots went mad. Looks like. What? Oh god. That was scary. Whoa! See it? 
see the light? It was over there. It's like, oh, is it like walking around in here while I'm in here? <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to call it here. It's probably been about an hour. Um, I'm sorry I haven't made much progress. <laughs> But this is scary. I don't usually play scary games. I may have to stream this one just so I can, like, not be totally wigged out. I've got my lights off. I've got, like, oh, man, it's all cloudy and rainy outside. Whoo, buddy. All right, well, um, hopefully this works out. I, seems pretty interesting. <laughs> I don't know. I seriously don't know if I can do this. So, uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I hope, let me know what you think. I know a lot of us who are, you know, already here on the channel, they, we don't really enjoy scary things. So, let me know what you guys think. Alright, I'll see you in the next one.